Welcome to episode 12 of Tools in the Hall. We have an awful lot here. For some reason, this is a larger than normal tool order, and it's going to take a while to get through it all. Is it too much? Is it going to take too long? Not for you diehard tool hall fans, it's not. Let's get going. the reason we have so many tools right now is because we've been getting a lot more business than usual it's terrific to see the growth that we want to see and we're working on getting an additional route operator to drive our other truck on board with us so we've got a lot going on and multiple routes that are that are growing and additional interest in how we do business has only been working in our favor so I think that's why we have a lot of tools. <laughs> no matter what, it's a great sign because it means business is good. And uh, and uh, we're, we're just having a great time servicing people. As I get to know uh, some additional customers that we're taking on, I've been having a ton of fun doing that. And we're also going to be growing out our customer base for a few additional days of the week where currently we've got some openings. So it'll be a lot of fun as we continue to see growth, as we continue to hire people and bring them on and get more trucks on the road. All right, let's start off with the ever popular adjustable work table. This one is branded for K-Tool. It's the same one we sold under the Monster brand, but Monster went under, so they moved that line to the K-Tool brand. I believe this is the same one that's made by SunX. SunX has the same table. I don't know who actually makes it. I believe SunX does. And when we can do them on sale, they fly off the truck. Any sale prices that you hear me talk about are current in our 2021 Q2 flyer. And I think that by the time this video goes up on YouTube, we're going to be past that quarter. So the prices may or may not be current, but at least it gives you some comparison as to what our prices are like. And even though we're an independent tool operation, it, it helps you compare to what you might see on the franchise tool trucks like Snap-on, Matco, Mac, and Cornwell and uh, give you some some good basis for comparison and most of the tools are all the same they're fairly commoditized these days some companies do still manufacture their own stuff but for the most part a lot of manufacturers just rebrand tools and ship them out to the different tool companies and uh, as a result a lot of the tools are, are if not identical then very very similar so anyway that table is a great example of some third-party branding that uh that K Tool takes advantage of for their brand. And we'll start over here on the left. There are these magnetic socket rails from Vim. These guys are, are awesome. They're they're pricey, but boy they're nice. And they have rails for different drive sizes and in different colors for standard or metric or or however you want to organize it. This is the quarter inch, 16 inch long rail. The posts on here are these round screw on posts. And what you can do is you just unscrew them to loosen them and you can slide them up and down the rail to space them however you want and then tighten them up. And that way they're all spaced perfectly for your sockets. Here's a quarter inch, here's a 3 8 also a 16 inch. This one's in red, typically red is standard blue is metric but you can organize them however you want 
and then they throw in a an eight inch long half inch rail this set here was intended well the way the product description read on my supplier's site this is not what they shipped us so we're still getting this sorted out they're going to reship it because it has some size in it that they that they had changed before changing the product description so it's not exactly what our customer wanted but we might just put these on the truck anyway because they're not the most popular because they're kind of pricey but for the guys who are willing to spend the money on them they're fantastic the big advantage to these is they have two magnet rails on the top and then underneath yeah you can't see it in the package underneath there's there's a magnet on the bottom side of the strip so these will stick to the bottom of the drawer they will stick um vertically as well so they hold the sockets very well between the magnets on both sides and they're made out of anodized aluminum very good quality and again for the guys who who like them and don't mind spending the money they're very happy with them it's they, they price themselves out of the out of some of the market a lot of guys would just assume buy the plastic spindle ones for you know a lot less money but whatever whatever suits you i think that these are are excellent quality and uh and if if you need some good low profile socket storage it's an excellent excellent uh choice K tool, um, because they've uh, now absorbed the former monster stuff, has more in their offering. This is a four piece Lady Foot pry bar set. This comes with a 6, 12, 16, and 20 inch pry bar, and the whole set retails for $48 and change. That six inch one alone, um, I was talking to a guy uh, last, uh, last, well, it doesn't matter because you won't see the video <laughs> relative to the time I talked to the guy. Anyway, I was recently talking to a customer who said, do you have, you know, just a six inch pry bar foot? And at the time I was still waiting for this set to come in. So I said, no, I'm out of them right now. He wanted the ladies foot style specifically. And uh, he said, on oh, nuts. He said, because uh, he said, I had to get it off the snap on truck where he spent on the one six inch ladies foot pry bar fifty two dollars which is four dollars more than this entire four piece set and he was bummed out about it uh he was in a tight spot unfortunately and i wasn't around at the time so he had to get it but it just goes to show price comparison and how the franchise tool trucks especially snap-on charge what many people consider to be unreasonable prices yet they get the business because Snap-on is very good at always being around. They're always covering the area. And uh, this guy was just in a tight spot. And he needed it. And darn it, the Snap-on guy had it, so he bought it. Uh, he regretted having to spend that much money on it, like a lot of people do. But at least it shows you what some of the price comparisons are. Lifetime warranty on these pry bars, just like the Snap-on one. Quality's the same. I, uh, I, I, I feel bad for guys that are put in a spot like that. But unfortunately, it's how the cookie crumbles sometimes in the tool buying world. You need it when you need it, and if the tool truck that rolls in next has it, that's the one you're going to get. Uh, another K-Tool product. This is the four-piece interchangeable oil filter wrench set. We have a handle with a pin, with two pins that release the band-style oil filter wrenches, and you can just change out the bands depending on what size you want. The first band goes from 64 to 76 millimeter. Second one from 73 to 83, 89 to 99, and 96 to 100. 11 millimeters what's that in in imperial i don't know i don't know extra small small medium extra medium and large i think is the size of this one's cover sunex has these terribly handy mini flex head ratchet kits this one is quarter inch drive like the other and has spline sockets that come with it the other kit that's very popular that we sell has quarter inch bits and the ratchet instead of having a square drive has a hex receiver on it and you just take the hex quarter inch bits and stick them in the ratchet and off you go uh, 
and th these retail for around 40 bucks or so they're they're not expensive at all and even you know for tool truck pricing they're, they're still pretty good deals this is the ever popular five piece metric double box and universal spline wrench set rationing ends on both ends different size on both ends this one runs 8 to 19 it's labeled under the mountain brand and this is the same wrench set that you've seen matco sell uh you've probably seen them on the mac trucks under the platinum brand mountain's got them obviously k tools picking them up now that monster no longer has them and easy red makes them for everybody and this is that this is that same set it's really handy there's a four-piece standard set as well not nearly as popular as the five-piece metric so this is the one we keep on the truck all the time these are a terrific idea whoever thought of this is a genius these are low profile reducing adapters there's a bunch of different brands sunx has a set of these we get the gray pneumatic ones because they're individually part numbered which means we can replace them individually when they break although i will admit i have never ever seen one of these break it's an ingenious design where they're reducing adapters so you, you can put this adapter on a quarter inch uh anvil this adapter on a three eighths and this adapter on a half inch and then you um you, you go up in size so the quarter goes to three eighths three eighths goes to half and the half goes to three quarter they call it a reducing adapter it doesn't reduce the size you're going to uh so i don't really know what it reduces i guess it reduces the socket drive to the drive on your impact tool it makes no sense to me but anyway i i would not call these a reducer i would call these an adapter and I would recall a reducing adapter one that says, for well, one that, for example, goes from a half inch drive on your impact to see a three eight socket. That's what I call a reducer. Most people do too. I don't know why they use that term for these, but these are low profile because the genius in this design is the anvil goes up into that adapter. So you see what I'm saying? The anvil goes inside that adapter. So instead of resting uh you know instead of just having like a, a a female end that goes over the anvil and the the part that your socket goes on to be in, to be an extension of that this is a much lower profile unit because your anvil goes up inside what that means is you don't have the same kind of twisting forces on this adapter that you do on other types of adapters i've never seen one of these break as a result and there's magnets there that hold the socket tight so the socket's not going to go anywhere and these guys are just rock solid and they're they're terrific they're very popular they uh we, we sell them all the time and i see their individual part numbers there gray pneumatic is a terrific brand we love working with them um very interesting thing about gray pneumatic is if you want to understand some more about the warranties i'll tease you and and say this i made another video about warranty replacements and how they're handled after purchase and I mentioned gray pneumatic specifically because there are some things to know. I'm going to keep it mysterious and have you click up here to watch that video so you can see all about different warranties and how they're handled in the industry because gray pneumatic is one that we specifically called out in that video. There are some things you may want to know when you choose to buy a gray pneumatic product. This is the most popular angle air die grinder we have. This one's from Astro. It's their Onyx line. And I've, I've shown this to you before on other, on other tool haul videos. The great thing about this one is instead of needing two wrenches to loosen and tighten that collet, there is a quick lock button on the back of the head, and it locks that collet, so you only need one wrench. And the body is a, a nice composite material, so it doesn't get cold. And although they don't advertise these as being low vibration, they are, in fact, low, low vibration. So I've sold these to fabricators that use them all day long, and they don't get hand fatigue or numbness like they get from some of their other die grinders. Very popular. Uh, we also sell Dynabraid brands, so the higher-end guys will prefer the Dynabraids, but they have also fallen in love with these Onyx ones from Astro. Mueller Cubes. That is, in fact, how you pronounce that name. It's German. Make these utility hooks mostly you would use these for hanging brake calipers these are heavy gauge hooks they're not going to bend 
you can use them for other things too, but the they're intended to, they have a picture of you hanging an extension cord on the package. Why would you spend $19 on these to hang an extension cord? I would hang brake calipers with these. Oh, here, there's a weird picture on the package that shows you doing that. That's what they're intended for mostly. Hang whatever you like, it doesn't matter to me. I'm not gonna judge how you use the tools. What would we do without SunX and their impact sockets and wrenches? They've got some of the best priced products that an independent mobile tool guy can ask for. Their quality is fantastic. If we ever need warranties taken care of, they're easy to deal with. Uh, nothing to not like about SunX. They got into lighting recently um, that I've had very good luck with. I'm not the biggest fan fan of them because we have other vendors for lights but for tool carts wrenches and sockets it's really difficult to beat sun x this is their metric stubby wrench set and it's a 10 to 19 mil set comes in a roll-up pouch sg tool aid is our go-to for certain crimpers they have one of the best ratcheting terminal crimpers for weather pack terminals and other open barrel terminals that we've seen. Um, you can change out the dies there too if you needed to. But it's a nice ratcheting handle, very heavy duty. This this never ever has problems. Rock solid. And uh, this runs um, different, this can run different dies in it for different applications. And they give you the breakdown of the back of the package. So, great crimpers, and then you can buy additional dies if you want. Here's a K-Tool Lady Foot Pry Bar all by itself. Somebody just wanted the one individual piece, in addition to the one in that kit that I showed you. We have some Gear Wrench Ratchet Head Repair Kits. Those are, those are restocks, because we just swapped those out under warranty on the truck. Klein has what might be the nicest pair of precision flush cutters I've ever seen. For 25 bucks, you can't beat the deal. These are far less expenses, expensive than the Nipex ones, and these are true flush cuts. Unlike Nipex, Klein has the advantage where these are actually rated for 16 gauge wire. The Nipex ones say specifically on the handle for plastic only. They will not honor the warranty if the jaws on those get, get bent out of shape because you use them on wire. This one obviously works on plastic. It's rated for 16 gauge wire. And I've had a guy come up to me once with one of the Nipex flush cuts. And there were these perfect um, half moons in each end of the jaws because he was cutting wire with it. And he bent the snot out of the, out of the jaws and the thing was useless to him. I had to break his heart by telling him that it's not covered because it says right on the handle for plastic only. He was bummed out because I think he, he bought his pair uh, somewhere expensive off another tool truck or something. It cost him like 70 bucks. And, uh, and unfortunately, he was SOL. The Klein ones for $25 have never had a problem. No one's ever brought them back to say that they broke or they weren't working. And if they did, Klein is excellent about standing behind their products. So I have a lot of confidence carrying the Klein ones, and we've been doing it for so long that we've not uh, we've not had any issues. If there were problems with that line, we'd know it by now for sure. This is a restock of some Lyle relay pliers. These are nice because these will go down underneath the relay, and you pull it up from the bottom instead of trying to pull them up from the top, which is impossible. Some more K Tool Lady Foot Pry Bars. Looks like we're doing some individual sales on these for for some guys. More repair kits for gear and ratchets. We got a Sunex socket. This one is a warranty. So the easy thing about Sunex warranties is we have to swap them out and then we uh, deal with them on the back end. Um, when these breaks, you know, like any impact, they'll get cracks in them and stuff if you use them a lot. Uh, but nothing could be easier with Sonics. So I think for the price, they're impossible to beat. And we can swap out Streamlight parts on the truck. This is a tail cap switch for the Stryon. And looks like we're just restocking that. 
because we probably swapped out a tail cap switch to somebody recently. And last but not least, uh, an individual gear wrench socket. This one's a 16 millimeter. Looks like it's a, a warranty swap on a 12 point. Mm -hmm. Focus, focus. Does it need to? You know what they look like. If you don't know what a 12 point 16 millimeter socket looks like, now you do. All right, there's that. Next box, we've got a bunch of repairs that came back, and we'll service any brand. Mac, we got back a half inch air impact. We got a Cornwell half inch impact. We've got another Mac thing in here. Well, the, the repairs work like this. Um, if we, 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 we send it out to a facility that we use in Ohio, a great company called Power Tool Repair. Those folks are top notch. Pricing is really good. We've never had comebacks for them. They fix everything right the first time. Uh, the deal is this. If we send it out, uh, it has to, they have to see it to give us an estimate on it. So they do. And if you want the work done, we go ahead and we do the work. We give you the price for the whole thing. Uh, if you don't want the work done, you can choose either just have it sent back un unassembled. Because they're going to have to do some diagnostics on it, right? They're going to have to disassemble stuff to the point where they can see what's broken and they're going to spend some time on it and some effort. So there's going to be a charge for that. So there's a shipping charge to get it there. There's a diagnostic charge for them to figure out what's wrong. And if you want, if you don't want to do the work, um, you have a choice then. You, you got to pay the shipping there and the diagnostic fee. You can tell them to scrap it if you want. And then they'll just, they'll just pitch it. And then you can have them ship it back unassembled if you want. Or you can have it shipped back assembled if you want. Which they wouldn't have repaired anything. Or just have them do the work. So you have those choices when it comes to repairs. There's a cost, unfortunately, to all of it. Uh, most of the time it's worth getting the repair done. Because otherwise you're just putting good money after bad. If you want, say, a broken tool back. Looks like this customer did not want his uh, his impact fixed. So we have a bag of parts that came back. And that's how they return it. If, if it's been declined, but somebody wants it back. So, bag of parts. Um, this is repaired, and the Cornwell is repaired. Uh, any brand of power tool will, will get serviced. Doesn't matter who it is. Um, the only the only things we can't get serviced are things that have been obsolete when there's no parts available for them anymore. But all the brands will cover, with the exception of things like Cobalt from uh, Lowe's. It has to go through Lowe's for that. But all the, all the other major brands will do. Snap-on, Matco, Mac, Cornwell, as you see. Um, certainly Ingersoll, Sunex, Astro, Milwaukee. You name it, we can get it serviced. GearWrench has this very popular tool tote. It's a, it's a soft-sided tote, but it has a plastic liner in there. I, I don't want to take it out of the bag because it's going to get covered with cat hair if I do. But it has a padded handle. Some nice pockets on the outside. Shoulder strap. This guy is super handy. Very popular. We saw a lot of those. We've got a restock of CRKT knives. I'm not going to go over each one individually. I did that in another video. So if you want to see the video or did that, I don't know which one that is. I don't, I'd say click up here, but if I already referenced that video earlier, then I can't reference it again. So I, so I don't know. There's, we've got videos that have reviews of CRKD knives. And in this box is also Oakley sunglasses because we purchase our Oakley eyewear through the same distributor where we purchase our CRKT knives. And that is a firearms distributor because we're a licensed FFL dealer. We buy when we can firearms but right now there's nothing that we can really get our hands on because supplies are low but these guys sell oakley eyewear crkt knives a bunch of other stuff that go great on the tool trucks and we can't get oakley through our tool distributors because matco has an exclusive arrangement with oakley that they're the only tool dealer that's allowed to carry the sunglasses but because we're also a firearms dealer we get access to the product line too and it's been terrific for us because um some, a bunch of guys uh see me and the matco guy sometimes sometimes the same time on thursdays and sometimes uh 
the Maco guy and I are, are pulling in at the same time, and we're pulling right after each other. And, and he and I are buddies, so we're not getting our panties in a bunch when there's two different tool trucks there. But, um, yeah, I pulled in one day like 10 minutes after he pulled in. So four or five guys were on his truck. They finish up with him. They come on my truck. They look at my display of Oakley sunglasses, and uh, they start looking at the prices and the styles, and they said, whoa, you're way less expensive than Mako. And I said, well, what's his prices like? And they told me, I'm like, wow, I, he seemed high to me. But again, I don't know what's normal because I don't shop the Mako truck. So I don't know what they're selling this for. I only know what I find these for online. And the pricing that I've got them at, yeah, it's a little higher because I'm a tool truck and I'm financing this stuff and putting it on people's accounts. But it's pretty competitively priced. So people are very happy at the pricing we've got uh, when they buy the Oakley eyewear. Lyle has this eight quart I'm sorry it's not Lyle it's K-Tool K-Tool has the eight quart uh jug this guy I thought it was Lyle because I was looking up the Lyle brand but Lyle only goes up to a six quart uh, my customer wanted an eight quart specifically so we got this for him the spout is inside you can hear it maybe see it spouts inside um that gets delivered to him this week it's a good week for Torque wrenches. Um, gear wrench is our preferred line for torque wrenches. We carry other brands too. Precision Instruments is the only other one I would recommend. We have other brands, but I don't know them very well at all. I can vouch for the Precision Instrument brand because their quality is top rate. And the gear wrench stuff has been fantastic. Never a problem with either the click type or the digital with the gear wrench ones and uh and precision instruments you know them because they uh, once upon a time manufactured snap-ons torque wrenches for them until snap-on purchased a torque wrench manufacturer so now they get it done somewhere else but for a while precision instruments was producing the ones for snap-on top line stuff made in the u.s which i really like the the um gear wrench ones are not they're made in taiwan but uh, I can offer people a choice. You know, you just choose your price and just know that one's made in the U.S., one's made in Taiwan, and people can choose from there. And uh, this is their half-inch torque wrench that goes from 30 to 250 foot-pounds. That's the click type. And this is their digital half-inch that goes from 25 to 250. And the nice thing about the digital one is it has their 120 xp mechanism so it's the fine tooth gear it has flex head and it has angle try finding any other reputable brand of digital torque wrench that has those features for less than 300 dollars i don't think you can i know uh, the comparable snap-on one is well over $600, and it doesn't have the fine-tooth mechanism that the gear wrench one has. And the Mac ones, I think, were four or $500, and you had to specifically get the one with angle, because they have the option, with or without. At least they used to a few years ago, when I was familiar with their lineup. Um, so it's very difficult to beat these from gear wrench. I think $295 right now for the half-inch, the 3 h is like 259 or something like that. It's it's ridiculous. That's regular pricing. They were on sale in the flyer uh, last quarter where I think the half inch is going for like 259 and the 3 8 is going for like 229 or something. It's ridiculous. But right now their their pricing, even not on sale, is extremely good. Looks like we got a socket back under warranty from somebody. We got a oh this thread gauge looks like special order for somebody what else we got uh going heavy into k-tool lately on certain things as i mentioned before because their monster line moved over so they've got this nice brake pipe flaring tool kit uh a guy who uh that we know fabricates he's a fabricator and he makes all kinds of cool stuff he wanted this set so that's coming in for him Next, we have a Noid light set. I can't show it to you because it's all bound up in the package here. That's just a regular OTC uh, Noid light for testing. Just some small miscellaneous things like 
backing pads, and it looks like there's a, a ratchet repair kit in there. Just some regular restock items. This is a warranty socket, looks like. This big old flex volt DeWalt 9 amp hour battery came in for a guy who bought the DeWalt chainsaw from me and he wanted an extra battery. So that's for him. Here's another one of those Sonex mini ratchet sets with the spline sockets. Lang has a good set of snap ring pliers. The nice thing about Lang is, like we are talking about before, they're a manufacturer and they'll, they'll third party brand their products for other companies. For a time they made Max snap ring pliers for them, same set. They make compression testers and, and stuff for Snap-on currently. And, uh, you know, the contracts change over time, so who's making Max stuff today, I don't know. Um, but these guys are, they, they sell their own brand as well, which is nice, because a lot of their stuff, like these, is made in the USA. Some stuff's made in Taiwan, they, they manufacture overseas for some of their product lines, but this one I like, because it's right here in the good old USA. More Sonic stuff. This is a magnetic quarter inch drive socket set, impact grade. 23 pieces in there. And it runs. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not metric. It's metric and standard. The standard size runs 3 16 to half inch. It's tough to see that. And the metric side runs 5 millimeter to 15 millimeter. Um, we got, looks like a third party warranty socket that came back. These, oh, these are the plastic um, socket rails I was talking about before where, you know, these are way cheaper than those, those aluminum Vim ones, but these take up more space. They're higher profile, perfectly functional. Nothing wrong with these at all, but some guys just like having the magnetic option so they can put the, the, the rails up somewhere. And, and also, there are folks who have uh, entered a point in their career where they just want something that's a little more refined and a little more elegant, and those Vim ones absolutely fit that bill. They're just a beautiful, beautiful setup. What else? We got some small wrenches here. This is a small wrench. This is a... 5 16th wrench for a customer, and this looks like it's some kind of line wrench for somebody. This looks like oh, a 5 16th flannel wrench for someone. Look at those. It looks like there's a restock of the Milwaukee four piece pry bar set. This set has lifetime warranties on it, they have an I beam design to the bar striker cap on the back of the handle so you can slam it with a hammer and they put a lifetime warranty on them. I will admit that I've seen the tips break on these a little more frequently than I see on say the Mayhew brand but the price difference is significant. This set I think is going for $84.99 and that's like the regular price. They're, uh, it's a good set for the money. Uh, if you need something a little heavier duty um, I would recommend the Mayhew ones, but again, uh, the only ones I've seen break these actually are diesel guys, and I think of it. So maybe they were using them in way, they, maybe they were exceeding their capacity. I don't know, but um, it doesn't matter. We get them replaced anyway under warranty. Just know that uh, there's that design. It's a little bit different and really difficult to beat the price. Maxion makes these lights. You may have seen these. Well, I know you've seen them on the Cornwall truck because Cornwall buys them from Axion just like we do. But you have seen these on Snap-on trucks years ago. They were branding these for, for Snap-on. And I think Snap-on was selling these for like 80 bucks, And they're about the half the price on our truck. Green and red are the most popular colors. They make a yellow one. 
but they're not nearly as popular for some reason. The the base on these is magnetic. They recharge with a USB cord, and they have a one-year warranty. Redback Boots decided that they were gonna not sell in the U.S. anymore, or not warehouse in the U.S. anymore, or something. I don't know all the details. What I do know is that we can't get their boots anymore, and neither can any other tool guys that I know. So we're looking at these from Oliver. Apparently, there's a thing about making boots in Australia. That Oliver is also an Australian brand. And I just got these in today. And I'm, I, I've never, ever seen these before in my life. Um, until I took them out of the box today. And what I have found is, after the initial looking at them and just going over them, I, I think the quality is good. I have no idea until I wear them. And I bought this pair for me because... I don't want to. I don't want to put something like boots on the truck without knowing how good they are. I don't want to sell an inferior product, so I bought these for me to check out. And uh, I can't really tell by looking if they're any good or not. Uh, but clearly, the sizing needs some getting used to because I ordered a ten and a half US, and these are way smaller than that. I couldn't even get my foot in them. So something's up. Either they mislabeled this particular one. Or the sizing's really funky. I don't know. Uh, but I don't... <laughs> what, what's unfortunate about something like that is it's a strike against it right off the bat. If they can't get sizing that's correct, it's difficult to do business with them because it just doesn't look good, number one. number You know, someone says, oh, I need a pair of boots. Okay, great. What size you are? I'm a 10. Okay, let's calculate that in Oliver land. That's a 12 or whatever. I don't know. Um, it's hard enough when you have to convert an Australian size, which is the UK standard, to a US size, which you had to do with Redback, but it was accurate, and we could do that, and it wasn't a problem. Even on a chart, if this is your boot size and order this size, and it was easy to do, with the Oliver ones, it's so far off. I mean, I, not being able to get my foot in that boot, hmm, I, I'm not, not a fan already, so I don't know what to think. Um, I'll, I'll try it again. I'll... I'll reorder this size plus get one that's a little larger, a lot larger, to see if if it makes any sense. But I don't want to sit here and wrangle with this because honestly, I've got better things to do with my time than to than to play around with goofy sizing on a new product. I'd rather go with another brand. Terra is another boot brand that I also have access to. And we're checking them out. But the problem with Terra is that we're not warehousing them with our distributors. Everything's going to be drop shipped from them. Which can take longer to fulfill orders. Warranties can be more difficult. It's, it's not the easiest situation to work with. Plus, if stuff gets drop shipped from them, that kind of takes away my ability to work with the company directly if it goes through a distributor. Which it does. So... I'm I'm not that happy right now with my boot situation. I I don't know um, what we're gonna do about that. I don't know what the future is for our boots, but I know I can't have those right now the way they are because they don't fit. All right, we got a set of standard three eighths drive chrome sockets, gear wrench. These are interesting. I've never seen these before, but the guy. At a, at a body shop asked me to get these for them. I've never seen them. These are called style sticks. And what these do, these are are, are contoured sanding sticks. And they're made specifically for different brands. They have domestic, they have Asian, European, and Universal. And what they are, are these... Sticks that have all these different contours and angles to them. And you put your, your paper on there and you match the contour on the stick with the contour of the car you're working on. They're all slightly different. I'm sure there's one in here that looks like a TIE fighter. You know what I'm talking about. Not that one. That one looks like an X-Wing blew up. So does that one. So that. Okay, maybe they don't have a TIE Fighter shaped one. But they should. And they come with sandpaper strips. 
that are specifically designed for the contour sanders. They have an adhesive on them that you stick to the, the sanding block. And this comes with 40 and 80, 40 and 80 grit, as well as a little tool there to uh, apply the sanding paper, the sanding paper to, to the stick. So I'm eager to know what uh, my customer thinks of these once he gets a chance to use them. Because it's a new product that uh, I have never seen before. I don't know if they're new to the market, I've just never seen them. And they even give you a little usage chart and some, some suggestions for, for applications. No, pretty cool. They have a set too that's just for domestic. Um, they have another set that's just for like Asian and European and some universals. This is the set that has some of each and that's the one he wanted to try. And they're not that expensive. You know, the, the, the Durablock standing sets that everyone sells and everyone's seen or, or can be upwards of 80 or 90 bucks. That one's like $50 and change. So it's not even that much money. And if it fits the bill, it fits the bill. Uh, restock. Mayhew makes these cat paw meow. Cat paw picks. Mini hook and pick set. Love them. Um, very durable. Never seen a broken one. We went to this brand. Well, we cycled to a bunch of different brands. And I settled on Mayhew because, A, I just love the company. They make great pry bars, chisels, punches, and uh, and those picks. I said, hey, you know, I like the rest of their stuff. We'll try these. And re always readily available. So I buy their hook and pick sets. I also get their spoon end O-ring pick sets. The longer, they have the longer picks on them. And they're terrific. Um, just easy to use. Never break. And Mayhew couldn't be a better company as far as I'm concerned. I love all their stuff. Oh, best part about it is their stuff is, before I lie, I want to say made in the USA. No, not everything they make is in the US. These are made in Taiwan. Okay, I almost, I'm glad I checked. Um, these are made in Taiwan. A lot of their products are made, though, in the States. So um, I'm a big fan of that. I'll support the brand anyway because I love all their stuff. And um, and their warranty stuff is super easy if anything ever breaks. Uh, backing pad from Shark. I don't know if that's the sound sharks make. I don't know what sound a shark makes. Does, here's, all right, topic. Do sharks make sounds? Right in the description below. No, don't. Take two. Question. Do sharks make sounds? Leave a comment below with your personal first-hand experience. <laughs> uh, we have an adjustable wrench. These guys are another one from K-Tool. Looks like we're getting heavier into K-Tool. And I'm glad because I like the I like the brand. I like the company that owns them. A company called ISN, which is our biggest distributor. Love their stuff. And this is a big, beefy 15-inch long... It, uh, adjustable wrench not we don't usually keep much in the way of adjustable wrenches on the truck uh, so that's a, that's a special order for somebody we we certainly wouldn't stock one that big if we stock something it's gonna be like a smaller three-piece set or something this is a cool holster for a streamlight stinger Another Lang product, they make these retractable magnetic test leads. These are the three lead type. With a magnet on the back and you can stick these to a lift or your uh, cart lid or side of your box or whatever. This one is 10 feet long. Retractable. And Gear Wrench has work lights. I'm going to go ahead and admit not the biggest fan of their lighting. But this is a particularly nice light. Magnetic swivel base. Um, not the... Their lighting isn't the most rugged things ever. This is a particularly good product for them. Um, I, I've never had an issue really with with this light. They, they used to have, I don't know if they still do, flashlights and pen lights. I did not like them. I did not think they were terribly good quality. So I'm throwing gear wrench under the bus for that. But this light is actually pretty good. Uh, unfortunately though, <laughs> the reason I'm getting this for customers is because it's to replace a broken one under warranty and uh the one he had just, just stopped charging i plug it in the indicator light comes on green 
and then it blinks and that's it. So I don't know what the dealio is with that. So he's getting a new one under warranty. Um, I'd much rather have lighting that has lifetime warranties on it or ones where we simply don't have to do warranty claims. And I'm going to go ahead and praise Maxion because in addition to these work lights we got, I also ordered some of the, they have these octagonal shaped, what they call Luminator series lights. Those are outstanding work lights. Comparable to this gear wrench one, but I've never seen one of those break. I've never had to take care of one under warranty. So I think they have a better, more durable product. They're a bit lower profile. And uh, and, and as much as I like gear wrench, I do. Um, I just don't like their lighting that much. I love their sockets. Their ratchets are spectacular. Impact sockets, you can't beat them. <clears throat> what else do I like that gear wrench has? Oh, just about everything. Great pliers. Uh, what else do we get from gear? Oh, that that uh, that tool bag, fantastic. Gear wrench has a tremendous amount of excellent, outstanding, top tier products. It's just that the lighting needs a little bit of work. So take that for what it's worth, gear wrench. And I know that you listen to everything that I say. <laughs> All right, what else do we get? Uh, Performance Tool has some really inexpensive jack stands. These are three. There's a pair of three ton stands that we're doing for thirty eight ninety nine. I'm just waiting for a second pair to come in. I got a customer who ordered four of them. Uh, so he needs two pairs. And that one just came in. I'm waiting for the other set to roll in. And then he'll get them. Um, the thing I like about these, as opposed to any others, is these have a double lock. They've got a locking pin that goes through the saddle. So... It's double locked, both with that ratchet mechanism and the pin. Why everyone doesn't do that, I don't know. But they do, and I'm glad they do, because it's that extra bit of security and, and peace of mind. Always use a jack stand, please. Don't just go into a car or, or, or a truck with a jack on it, holding it up. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. No, no. And now, with the low, low, low price of the performance tool jack stands... You don't have to feel guilty spending a lot of money, because you won't. <clears throat> We've got some Milwaukee stuff that came in. We've got more on the way. I was kind of hoping to show you the whole thing with this video, but we just don't have it received yet. We've got uh, some bundle deals that we're taking advantage of. And we're going to do some mix and match pricing on the truck, which would be really cool. Because we'll be able to set up things like, you know, we'll be able to do something like, this and that's their 3 8 stubby impact and here's their 3 8 right angle impact and we'll be able to do some batteries we're also going to have in the same in the same choice their half inch hammer drill uh, a hex impact driver and uh, I think one or two other tools charger contractor bag and all that we'll be able to line that all up we'll put this on the shelf and do an all la cart thing and say okay tools choose you know a tool for i don't know 159 bucks or something like that and then choose a battery this is their six amp hour 12 volt choose a battery for 125 and just do a whole mix and match and then maybe do one price for the entire kit that if you want each of the four tools and two batteries and a charger bag that we can put a whole price on that and do some things that uh, give us some freedom to sell a little bit differently, and and Milwaukee puts these bundles together that we can take advantage of. And sometimes even do things like uh, they'll give they'll give dealers some promotional stuff too. So like let's say we buy, uh, well for example, one of their promos right now is if a dealer buys a half inch cordless impact or big fourteen hundred foot pound one, they'll give us a, a five amp hour battery for free. And the nice thing is we can offer that to customers if we want, or we can do giveaways or use as promotional items. Or if we want to get full profit from it, we can just sell it or have some nice competitive pricing with an Amazon retailer or Home Depot or something like that. And we still make money. And I had a guy come on the truck last week and he said, I need just a half inch impact. And what I had at the time was their kit that's got their half inch and their three eighths, two batteries, a charger in a bag, right? So I didn't have a bare half inch by itself. But I knew about this deal and I said to him, hey, I'll tell you what, I said, if you want, I'll take the half inch out of the kit, sell it to him at full price. And then I gave him a battery out of the kit 
then all I've got to do is reorder it, get it back in on promo, and repopulate the kit. And he was really happy because he got a deal that he didn't think he was going to get. When he came on the truck, he was expecting, expecting to pay full price just for the half-inch impact. And he's a good guy, customer. I like him a lot. So I felt really good saying, hey, guess what? It's your lucky day. You get a free battery out of the deal. And, and he was really happy as a result. So it's nice that we have the latitude to work deals like that. Uh, and, and sometimes it gives us a chance to make some extra money, which is always nice. Um, and keep the pricing really competitive. Because if we do dollar cost averaging, like let's say we buy a half inch impact and get a free battery. <clears throat> well, the battery's free. It doesn't cost us anything. So we're going to get, you know, whatever, whatever we charge for the battery on that. Well, what we can do is we can lower the cost if we wanted to on the tool to be competitive with, with Amazon, say. We can put a, a competitive price on the battery and still come out ahead. And it's rare that we can do that. But Milwaukee will offer that to us. So now all of a sudden we're way more competitive. We've got deals that don't get publicized to, to the general public so that we have the means to conduct more competitive, better business and still make money because one of the one of the frustrations is especially if you're a franchise tool truck like uh i know mac for example those guys don't like selling out of the flyers because mac will only give them a 30 percent margin on in flyer well you got to sell a lot of stuff out of the flyer at 30 percent on a tool truck to make any real money so it, it's expensive for the dealer so they're not real fans of that i don't know what the other companies are like but with us um our flyer pricing gives us a better price point and a better margin but then when milwaukee does this stuff it's even better and as a result my loyalty to milwaukee grows and when i can offer that deal up to a customer their loyalty loyalty to the brand grows and it's just good all around so milwaukee keeps knocking it out of the park we've got some Looks like some warranty stuff came back. That's boring warranty, blah, blah, blah. This is the Serpentine Belt Tool from GearWrench. This is an excellent product. This is a another one of their, their excellent products here. This is the one that's got a really nice ratcheting wrench that comes with it to get the extra angles. It comes with the crow's feet, the adapters, and the pass-through sockets. And it's on sale for $97.90. That's impressive. I didn't think it was that cheap. This is Milwaukee's quarter inch ratchet. There's also their new high speed ratchet. This is not that one. This is the kit that comes with one battery. And uh, I'm probably going to swap this out for the high speed one. I don't think I want to keep this one. Because I don't, I don't see a reason to sell the regular one when the high speed one is a better deal. The high speed one comes with two batteries and it moves at 450 RPM, which is over twice the speed of this one. And this one's rated for 40 foot pounds of torque. You're going to have to give up some torque when you get speed and that's, that's to be expected. So the high-speed ratchets have 35 foot-pounds of torque. So five foot-pounds less, which you're going to want on a high-speed ratchet. The slower ones, they can be torquier. But I think I'm going to send this one back and get just the high-speed ones, or we can offer this at a, at a discount price or something like that. OTC has a heavy-duty brake spring tool. Um, not the most popular, but for the guys who need it, they need it. And, uh, this one is going to a diesel technician. I don't know what his application is for this in particular, but, uh, he's probably working on tractor trailers with it because that's what this is intended to be used for. Here's another set of. Uh, Milwaukee pry bars that one goes in the other truck which is why there's two in different boxes looks like a gray pneumatic sockets coming for somebody this is the oh this is the one of 516 socket very common for for diesel techs the thir 33 millimeter or the one of 516 same size um and the half inch drive everyone needs those for wheels 
There's a set of regular gear wrenches. Everybody needs these. If they don't have them, they usually do pretty quick because that's um, that's the set everybody gets. We got some monthly flyers that are. There's nothing different in there than a regular quarterly flyer. That's just a subset. So we'll hand those out as like a product supplement. Coast has these awesome new lights. They've got a 2075 lumen headlamp and a 2100 lumen flashlight and a 1000 lumen flashlight and the granddaddy of them all a 3650 lumen flashlight o m f g and i know what you're thinking those look really cool lindsay but they've got to be expensive especially compared to streamlight oh no these are way less expensive than any comparable streamlight product okay you're thinking but the warranty is probably like 90 days no it's a lifetime warranty okay you're thinking but if the warranty has to be exercised and you got to send it in a coast and i got to wait a few weeks for them to send it back no i gotta swap them out on the truck i hand you a new one you give me a broken one wow you're thinking this seems like a pretty good deal but surely it doesn't have any cool features like a focusing beam oh that's where you're wrong again son every one of these has a focusing beam it's a patent that coast holds focusing beams on all their lights wow you're thinking i'm almost sold if only i had an option that when the rechargeable power cell in there wore down i gotta swap them out with alkaline batteries so i put it on the charger <laughs> well you're in luck because guess what all of these lights are dual power it says right on that box dual power dual power a dual power and dual power so what happens is this these things are ip56 rated against dust and water so they're sealed what happens is this if the battery pack runs down take it out plop it on the charger it has its own charging port then you take the alkaline carrier that these come with except the small one i think the small one is uses cr 123 batteries pop those in and you're good to go the other one's charging up and then when that's charged just pop it back in and save your alkaline batteries for later but what about the pricing that's the best part these aren't even on sale i'm gonna hit the hit you with the pricing 52.99 i think 69.99 99.99 and 119.99 compare that to streamlight's pricing compare the brightness compare the warranty process and compare the focusing beam feature and the dual power feature coast comes out on top every time it is why as streamlight dealers i don't put streamlight on the truck i put the coast products on the trucks because when people see what the differences are between them they always go for the coast there was a time when we had both brands on the trucks we'd have both their lights on the shelves and guys would pick them up and they'd say what's the difference and i go down the difference and as i went down the difference i realized no one's going to buy the coast and sure enough uh, it took a long time for the streamlights to sell out because people do like the brand and some people do gravitate toward that but for guys who are more interested in value and quality than they are in brand coast comes out on top for them every time so we always buy the coast ones now as a result if somebody wants streamlight stuff we can get it easily enough no problem uh, which is why you saw earlier we're carrying some of their parts and stuff because we can always service it and if somebody wants one of their lights, particularly the Stryons and the Stingers that are very popular, uh, we get those regularly for people. But again, we just don't carry them on the truck because one of the other issues with Streamlight is they've got a lot of choices. What would you like for colors? And would you like two batteries? Would you like a piggyback charger? Would you like a, a single charger? And they give you a lot of options where for each one of their Stinger and Stryon lights, I think you get about six different options for how you want it configured so it's not the easiest thing to keep in inventory because you get that um that dichotomy of choice where 
there's too many things to choose from, so what do you wind up going for? I don't know. Do you want the regular lumen one or do you want the high lumen one? Do you want, you know, there's a million different configurations between color, luminosity, batteries, chargers, and everything else like that. You got some decisions to make. With Coast, you get a much more basic offering. This new lineup does not come in any colors. It's all black, but there are other, there are other lines like their pen lights and some of the other flashlights do have color options. They come in six different colors, black, red, green, orange, blue, and black, red, green, orange, and blue, black, red, green, black, red, green, orange, blue, black, red, green, maybe five, maybe I'm lying. Um, these ones just come in black. So what you see is what you get, but what you get is an outstanding value in a terrific quality product. So that looks like it's coming to the end of this box. In here, there's just some more Coast pen lights uh, that we have. We have a snap-on ratchet that came back from repair. And... Uh, well, brake slack adjustment kit. Here's a box of screws. Why do I have a box of screws? Because I got a customer who has eight Wilton bench devices in their shop. And it looks like when, I don't know when, when they bought them or who they bought them from, but the screws that hold the vice jaws on uh, were the wrong screws. They weren't countersunk heads on the screws. And, and the vice jaws have countersunk holes. So the screws never sat right in the hole and the jaws would wiggle and when they when they tighten stuff down in the jaws, it just sheared the screws off. So now they have all these sheared off screws stuck in their, stuck in their, in their, in their vices. And they asked me if I could help. They said they contacted Wilton. They were no help to them. I've never dealt with Wilton directly. We'd go through a distributor for them. Uh, but usually there aren't parts inventories or things like this. So there's a really good uh, bolt company local to me called uh, American Bolt in Austin. Great guys, very helpful. They've got a ton of stuff in stock. So I just took a broken bolt down there and I asked them if they could match up the head configuration and the thread pitch. They did, and now I've got replacement screws for them. So I really like doing that kind of thing for customers. It's nothing that they would expect another tool guy to do. But the fact that they came to me with that just shows that I am the guy they have in mind to give them that level of service. I promise you didn't ask a Snap-on guy. You know, I promise you didn't ask the Maco guy. He asked this guy. And that feels like a million bucks. And that's the kind of relationship that I strive to establish with all my customers. And that's the brand image that I want. And that's simply how I want to do business because now we've got value. Now we're not just going peddling tools. Now we can actually give people something for their money and their time with us and the relationships that they build with us. And that's the way I like to do it. So thanks to those guys for coming to me with that. I feel honored and appreciated. And I really like being able to reciprocate by getting you what you need and getting you back up and functioning with devices in your shop. Now stay tuned for more videos because we've got a lot of cool things coming down the line. Not the least of which is a review of a Snap-on tool utility vehicle toolbox. You may have never seen one before and maybe the video that I show you is the only one that you're going to see. So that's coming up as well as our regular tools in the hall segments and some other toolbox and tool cart reviews. Also, check out the new vlog that Land did a few weeks ago. Well, maybe by the time you see this, it'll be a couple of months ago. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's about warranty processes. It's the one I referred to earlier in the video. It'll give you some good information on things like how Milwaukee and Ray Pneumatic handle their warranties, how Sonics handles their warranties, and also what some of the pitfalls could be in working with other dealers and how they work through the warranty process. So do me a favor, click down here now to subscribe so that you don't miss any of it. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, use a tool, don't be one.